how's it going? Um, make another video on the Fuvo PS2 protein skimmer. I noticed on the forums and on YouTube, there's not much on showing you how to dial it in. And I know people are leaving comments on other people's pages, understanding, not understanding how to dial it in correctly. So I'm gonna run you through it real quick. It should be super easy to do. Like I said, I'm running mine in the second chamber. I don't think it's gonna be much of a difference in the first chamber since I have the intake media basket in my first chamber here. So here's my PS2. That's about 20, well, a little less than 24 hours of what I'm getting out of it. So it's working really, really well for me. And like I said, it's got bad reviews for some weird reason, but I just think really it is people not understanding how to dial it in and not being patient with it and allowing it to break in. And my break-in period was probably only about, i say 24 hours. So I started actually getting some good skin mate out of it. But for uh, purposes here, I draw back the water all the way down the main dial here, as you can see down in there, you can see the bubbles down there. So first thing you want to do is grab this dial here and turn it, I think be clockwise. Let me get, get the bubbles to come up. Give me one second here. Sorry, I just counterclockwise. So you get the, move it counterclockwise until you get the bubbles to come up to the bottom of the cup here. Just do it kind of slow. There they come. Slowly coming up. What I do is get them. I get them to right where the gray meets the white cup there. As you see there, they're right there now. Then back it off the tip. Then before you do that, make sure this cap, sorry, make sure this cap up here is completely turned all the way up. So this this will let you fine tune it into the into the collection cup here. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna bring this line of micro bubbles up to get my finger out of the way here I'm sorry I'm using my phone here to stupid uh, airlines in the way to right where it meets where it comes up so I'm gonna slowly bring that up and like I said it's fine-tuning you can't just spin this thing aggressively just kind of slowly move it until you start seeing it rise so, one second here. Slowly dialing it in. It's gonna be quite a bit of turns. And all of a sudden, see it's starting to rise now, it just rose. Get it about right. Right there, and you can see see the line where the, my micro bubbles are at. And I don't know if you can see in there some condensation. You see those bubbles moving up, and so it's kind of more of a wet skim. I do. I don't know wet to dry. I don't really pay attention to it. But like I said, that's about 24 hours of collection. But I figured I could just do a small video to show people how to set it up and dial it in. Like you're going to have to fit, I mean, it's all based off your water level too. So as your water level drops, obviously your micro bubbles are going to drop. So if you don't have auto top off, just top off your water and it should bring it right back up to where you, where you left it. So other than that, um, that's the PS2 uh, protein skimmer from Fluvo dialing it in. Like I said, it's fairly simple to do. And there it is, it's already pushing up there so hope this will help somebody out out there because I saw that a lot of comments out there not understanding how to dial it in or how what to do with it um, and a lot of people say not to have it on a on a nano tank but I'm like it's one one more thing to filter the water and obviously it's pulling pulling junk out so it's doing its job so and here's if you guys haven't seen my tank just started it over a little about a month and a half ago. But water's crystal clear.
looking good. I appreciate it, guys. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, just put them in the bottom, and I'll uh, be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Appreciate it.